everybody, please stand up for the prayer. Carol, please give me the prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father, Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. The kingdom come, the will be done, and let's be peace in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not lead us to the test, but deliver us from the love of the Lord. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Good morning, class. Good morning. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, classmates. Please take your seat. Thank you, Thank ma'am. You, ma Who are absent this morning? None, ma'am. Now, who can recall our previous lesson? Last meeting, we talked about computer technology and its importance in our lives. So, are you familiar with the hardware tools? Yes, ma'am. Very good. I have here some pictures. So, what can you say about the picture? Mom, the pictures are different hand tools, cleaning tools, and for diagnosing computer problems. Very good. Any other answer? Those tools are manually used in deploying force or electrically powered using electrical current. So what do you think is our lesson for today? Mom, I think prepare hand tools. Okay, very good. Okay, prepare hand tools is a tool, is a handheld device that aids in accomplishing a task. Tools range from a traditional metal cutting part of a machine to an element of a computer program that activates and controls a particular function. So we will tackle discharge of electrostatic electricity. Examples of ESD tools are anti-static wrist trap. So this is the picture. So anti-static wrist traps used to prevent ESD damage to computer equipment. And then the anti-static mat used to stand on or place Handware on to prevent static electricity from building up. And then we will proceed to hand tools. It is a device for performing work on a material or a physical system using only hands. The hand tools can be manually used employing force or electrically powered using electrical 
current. Examples of hand tools are flathead screwdriver. It is used to loosen or tighten solid screws. And then the next is Phillips head screwdriver. It is used to loosen or tighten cross head screws. Next is Torx screwdriver. It is used to loosen or tighten screws that have a star like depression and the top, a feature that is mainly found on laptop. And then last is the hex driver, sometimes called a nut driver, is used to tighten nuts in the same way that a screwdriver tightens screws. Next is needle nose plier. It is used to hold small Forks. Next is wire cutter. It is used to strip and cut wires. Tweezers. It is used to manipulate small parts. And part retriever. It is used to retrieve parts from locations that are small for your hand feet. And then, flashlight is, is it is used to light up areas that you cannot see clear. And cleaning tools, having the appropriate cleaning tools is essential for maintaining or repairing computers. So first, the lint free clock. It is used to clean different computer components without scratching or leaving debris. And next is the compressed air. It is used to blow away dust and debris from different computer parts without touching the components. And next is the table ice. It is used to manipulate um, I mean, it is used to bundle cables neatly inside and outside of a computer. And then, the parts organizer. It is used to hold screw jumpers, fasteners, and other small parts and prevents them from getting mixed together. So, next is the diagnostic tools. Computers are easier to use and are more dependable with each new generation of hardware and operating system updates. But that doesn't mean that they're problem free. So here are the some popular tools for diagnosing your computer problems. So the first is the multimeter. used to test the integrity of circuits and the quality of electricity in computer components. And lastly, the loopback adapter. So it is used to test the functionality of computer parts. I'm going to show you again some pictures and do identify what category of hardware tools a base belong, okay? So, what do you think is this? Ma'am, anti-static anti wrist trap. Next. Anti-static map. Flathead screwdriver. Next. Phillips head screwdriver. Next. Torx screwdriver. Next. Torx screwdriver. Next. Needle nose plier. Next. Wire cutter. Next. Tweezers. Next. Part retriever. Next. 
flashlight. Next. Blend free club. Next. Compressed air. Next. Cable ties. Next. Part organizer. Next. Multimeter. Next. Bluetooth back adapter. Okay, very good. Now we will proceed to the proper use of tools. The proper use of PSD tools. So the purpose of an anti-static breeze drop is to equalize the electrical charge between you and the equipment. The anti-static breeze drop is a conductor that connects your body to the equipment that you are working on. When static electricity builds up in your body, the connection made by the breeze drop to the equipment or ground. Head 
solution on the damp lean free cloth. Mix one drop of British washing liquid with four ounces of water to create the cleaning solution. If any water drips inside the cases, allow enough time for the liquid to dry before powering on the computer. Next is the LCD screens. Do not use ammunated glass cleaners or any other solution on an LCD screen. Unless the cleaner is specifically designed for the purpose, her harsh chemicals will damage the coating on the screen. There is no glass protecting these screens, so be gentle when cleaning them and do not press freely on the screen. CRT screens. So to clean the screens of CRT monitors, dampen a soft, clean, wind free cloth with distilled water and wipe the screen from top to bottom. Like that. Then use a soft, dry cloth to wipe the screen and remove any streaking after you have cleaned the monitor. Clean dusty components with a can of compressed air. Compressed air does not cause electrostatic yield up on components. Make sure that you are in a well ventilated area before blowing the dust out of the computer. A best practice is to wear a dust mask to make sure that you do not breathe in the dust particles. The next is component contacts. Clean the contacts on components with a sulfur alcohol. Do not use rubbing alcohol. Rubbing alcohol contains impurities that can damage contacts. Make sure that the contacts do not collect any lint from the cloth or cover swap. Blow any lint off the contacts with compressed air before reinstallation. Next is the keyboard. Clean a desktop keyboard with compressed air or small handheld vacuum cleaner with a brush attachment. Next is mouse. Use a glass cleaner and soft cloth to clean at the outside of the mouse. Do not spray glass cleaner directly on the mouse. In cleaning a ball mouse, you can remove the ball and clean it with glass cleaner and a soft cloth. Wipe the rollers clean inside the mouse with the same cloth. Do not spray any liquid inside the mouse. for overseeing equipment 
maintenance and where the records are kept. Next is set up a system for removal and tagging of damage or defective tools and equipment. Okay, next we will tackle about the power storage of tools, parts, and equipment. To ensure that tools and equipment remain in good condition and last for a long time, store them properly. Properly stored tools and equipment will be easy to find when needed and are less likely to be lost. Good practices includes parts should be properly stored and laid up, like this example. And then next, tools should be properly placed on board and labeled. Consider drawing the shapes of the tools on the board so that they always get put back in the same position, like this. small parts. So this is the example. Okay. So consider making an individual responsible for the for the good maintenance of tools and parts. So the, what are the benefits? So the benefits, tools and parts are kept in good condition and are easy to find are reduced and productivity is increased because time is not wasted looking for tools, parts and equipment. So workshop staff develop a sense of responsibility and pride in their work. So any questions? Man, man. Okay then so far it's very easy I guess. Let us proceed in your activity. tools are anti-static wrist strap and anti-static clutch. Okay. 
Johan Tolz, flathead screwdriver, Phillips head screwdriver, Torx screwdriver, Next driver, Can you identify the different hardware tools? Yes, ma'am. So what are those? So, the different hardware tools are grouped into four categories. Electrostatic, discharge or ESD tools, hand tools, cleaning tools, and diagnostic tools. So can you give me the definitions of those tools and its examples? Electrostatic discharge or ESD. Tools is easily generated by friction on carpets, tile flooring, clothing, hair, fabric, and etc. The friction of moving air alone will charge suspended particles and cause the buildup of static electrical charges on people and objects in the environment. Ground, grounded anti-static work mats used with anti-static wrist traps provide most basic means for the in controlled discharge of electrostatic electricity. Examples of ESD tools are anti-static wrist trap is used to prevent ESD damage to computer equipment, while anti-static mat is used to stand on or place handware hand on to prevent static electricity from building up. Okay, so next, what is hand tools? A hand tool is a, a device for performing work on a material or a physical system using only hands. The hand tools can be manually used employing force or electrically powered using electrical current. Examples of hand tools are flathead screwdriver used to loosen or tighten slotted screws, Phillips head screwdriver used to loosen or tighten cross head screws. Okay, what else? Torx screwdriver. It is used to loosen or tighten screws that have a star like depression in the top. A feature that is mainly found on laptop, hex driver, sometimes called a nut driver, is used to tighten screws, needle nose pliers, used to hold small parts. Okay, how about wire cutter? Wire cutter is used to strip and cut wires. Good, another example? Tweezers used to manipulate small, small parts. Part retriever used to retrieve parts from location that are that for your hand to fit. And flashlight used to, to light up areas that you cannot see clearly. Okay, next tool. Cleaning tools is having the appropriate cleaning tools that is essential when maintaining or repairing computers. Using these tools ensures that computer components are not damaged using cleaning. Examples are lint-free cloth is used to clean different computer components without scratching or leaving debris. Other hand, what else? Yes? Compressed air used to blow away dust and debris from different computer parts without touching the components. Cable ties used to bundle cables neatly inside and outside of a computer. Parts organizer used to hold screws, jumpers, fasteners, and other small parts and prevents them from getting mixed together. Good! Another example? <laughs> cleaning tools is having the appropriate cleaning tools that is essential when maintaining or repairing computers. Using these tools ensures that computer components are not damaged using. 
Other hand, what else? Yes? Cleaning. Examples are lint-free cloth. It's used to clean different computers, components, without scratching or leaving debris. Good. Another example? Compressed air used to blow away dust and debris from different computers, computer parts without touching the components. Cable ties used to bundle cables neatly inside and outside of, of a computer. Parts organizer used to hold screw, jumpers, fastener, and other small parts and prevents them from getting mixed together. Now we are done in identifying the different categories of hardware tools. Let's now proceed to the diagnostic tools. So what is diagnostic tools? Computers are easy easier to use and more dependable with each new generation of hardware and operating system updates. But that doesn't mean that they, they're problem-free. Can someone share to the class what is the tools for diagnosing your computer problems? Mom, the multimeter which used to test the integrity of circuits and that quality of electric electricity is computer components. Also, the loop back adapter that is used to test the functionality of computer ports. Okay, so for you as a student, how is it important to know the hardware tools in your daily life? As a student, it is very important to know the hardware tools in our daily life because we know that time will come that each and every one of us will be experienced on how to compute computer and it is required specific tools and equipment in order that all tools to be kept in good condition with regular for, for you as a student how is it important to know the hardware tools in your daily life as a student, it is very important to know the hardware tools in our daily life because we know that time will come that each and every one of us will be experienced on how to computer and it is required specific tools and equipment in order, in order that all tools be kept in good condition will, with regular maintenance and tools be operated according to manufacturer's instructions. Okay, so if you were given a chance to create uh, new tools, what would it be and how will people use it? If I were given a chance, I'm going to create a robot, automatic electric maintenance, so that if there's something went wrong in our computer, it will be respond right away and fix everything immediately. Okay, so the class will be divided into two groups and each group will prepare short dance while demonstrating proper use of hardware tools for two minutes. But unfortunately, we will just use this wire cutter on performing the proper use of wire cutter, okay? So just choose one representative from your group. Okay, so let me call the group one. Wow! So, on your activity, what are the hard, what is the hardware tools, and how will you use the tools properly, and how important these hardware tools in our home? Why can't I use to place the parts? That may be hard to reach with your fingers. It is important because it is important because it is very necessary in our world. Okay, very good. So let me move on. 
and the group to please come forward and present. What is the hardware tool? Uh, this, this tool is a wire cutter. So how will you use the tools properly? Wire cutter is used to place the parts that may be hard to reach with your fingers. So how important these hardware tools in our home? It is important because it is necessary in our home. Uh, it is important because uh, if in case there are devices that uh, needed to fix in our home, uh, we can use these tools. Okay, very good. Now I will give you your papers to be answered, okay? okay? the papers is answer okay time's up please pass 